Alrighty guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, create a start map for making your own map in the game. Load up your uh, Giants Editor. I'm using Giants Editor 8.1. Go to uh, File and I would do New Mod from Game. and then select, you can either do sample mod map 1 or 2. Sample mod map 1 is the European map and sample mod map 2 is your US map. So it's up to you whichever one you want to decide to use. We'll use the US map today. And then just select whatever working directory you'd like to use. Um, I'll just leave it <coughs> the same. Sometimes it'll say not responding, but it, it actually is. All right, so there's your basically your your start map already ready to go. Now you can just start doing your thing. And to what I do is I increase my NAS speed, and you can do that by the numpad plus and minus keys, and just just start uh, working. You wanna. Over here on the left, you got your tour icons. You could probably just delete uh, the fields. Uh, I usually delete all but field one, and then I'll just copy those fields and create my own new fields from field one. But yeah, you can just delete de delete them all. What I'll do is I select field two. Hold down a shift key and then click on field 26, hit delete, and they're gone. And uh, placeholders, you got lights, ghost lights, water planes, backdrop, whatever you want to use for your new map. And then whatever you don't want to use, just delete. Uh, biggest thing is don't mess with the sun. Don't mess with the train. Map boundaries. What that is, is those are just, you get to that point in the game and you can't go any further. So, you can either leave them, get rid of them or whatever, and then just start, just start messing out. You can select your uh, terrain. Sculpt mode. Bring up your window. And uh, terrain editing. And uh, just start messing around. You can't hurt it. And uh, when you get done doing what you want to do, just go to File and Save. And it'll save the mod. It's basically a short video. And uh, if you guys need to know anything more, just let me know and I'll I'll make a video on it. It's pretty simple. There's uh, not much to it. Oh, well, there is a lot to do in a map. But, you'll get the hang of it. Just, basically you'll learn by doing. That's how I learned. I've been doing maps since, since Farm Sum 11 and nobody really taught me. I just started doing it. And uh, you just start doing it. If you want to delete a field, you just select the ter terrain foliage mode. Bring up your terrain editing window back up again. Make sure foliage layer is set on terrain detail. Don't mess with terrain detail height. Terrain detail. And then just right mouse click. And that will delete the field. Okay, if you don't want a field there anymore. But just note that if you do delete a field, you, you're going to have to update your field definitions over here on the left-hand side. And I'll get to how to do the field definitions in another video. That'll be more in-depth. But for now, 
this gives you a real basic idea how to start a new new map for editing but what you can do is if you want to just flatten out the map completely what uh, you can do is I keep closing that out is go to where it says terrain editing uh, brush type I would do square let LMB go to replace and then just hold down your control R that'll select it at, at that the elevation there and you can go way out and go real big on your brush you know, 500 okay oh make sure you select the right one which is the uh, terrain sculpt mode and then just do that sometimes it'll go to remove I'm not sure why it does that but back to replace there we go now it's actually flattening the whole map that way if you want to if you want just a flat map you can do that that brings the crease by nav speed if you're working a way out distance like this you want to go with a faster nav speed which is the view speed all right so I pretty much got that flattened out now of course when you do that a lot of your buildings will be under the ground and floating and whatnot but a lot of the buildings you might decide not to use just delete them just make sure when you select on a building and you go to delete it make sure you have everything selected in that transform group on the left hand side okay and again you can't hurt nothing you can delete the whole town of Ravenport if you don't want it and put your own buildings in so anyway I hope this short video helps be sure to subscribe and comment if you want any more videos or whatever so thanks for watching